what's up what's up creative my name is philip and welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are actually looking at how to get sharp images in photoshop yes yeah, so when you're working on a church flyer when you're working on any um, design that and consists of images and you want to uh, get make them sharp this tutorial is for you yes yeah, sometimes the images we get from the clients they are not really sharp like that uh, it's a good graphic designer you are supposed to make sure you work on the images as well yes so looking right here on the screen i have my own image that i'll be using for the tutorial today yes and i'm looking so sexy yeah i'm looking so sexy and before we move on to the tutorials please kindly subscribe to this channel we have great content coming your way soon so kindly subscribe to this channel yes we are waiting for you to subscribe yes make sure you subscribe so we can give you great content back to back yes when you are done hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload you'll be the first to watch yes thank you all right so let's get right into the tutorial so i have this image now this one i have not actually done anything on them it's just one image that i have duplicated like that so i'm going to edit the one on the right side yes the one on the right side i mean this one let me turn it off so i'm going to sorry so i'm going to edit this one and then we'll compare to see the differences between them i'm going to make one very sharp yeah very 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 sharp yeah so let's get let's take this into camera so for you to take this into camera you have to make sure the image is selected then you come to filter you have file edit image layer type select filter 3d view plugins windows help so you choose filter you choose filter then you come to camera raw filter yeah or you can hit shift control a yes shift control a now let me increase uh, you no know. something like uh, 100 percent all right yes so this is what we are going to do now we have when you come to the layers the edits layers we have temperature we have things now temperature when you don't have to mess with this thing if you are just trying to get sharp images yeah you don't have to mess with them you just have to leave them the way they are so the things that you are going to use here is the exposure the contrast the highlights the shadows the whites the blacks the texture the clarity and if you want you can use the saturation then you come to the details yeah so these are the things that we'll be working on all right so with this image the image actually looks pretty cool pretty sexy like myself yeah so what you are going to do is you're going to increase it's a personal preference yeah anything just when you do it and it suits you you are good to go so i'm just going to increase the exposure a little let me say to 20 or let me make it zero point i think 30 is cool yes 30 is cool and uh i'll increase the contrast a little like plus two and then the blacks i'll bring it back so that any parts like my hair the beard yes the belt any part any area that is black on you if i increase it you are not going to see it so what i have to do is control do. if i reduce it you are going to see the areas with black it will really pop up yeah. so i think negative four is okay yes and now we are going to work with the texture so the texture you can increase it to let's say plus 50 or plus 60 yes to any you have a preference 
yes so when you're done you can also add, do some just now if you don't have to increase the clarity that much else it will make sure the image dark yes so let me do it for you and see now you see how the image becomes dark you don't have to mess up so you just increase it a little yes and then the highlights you can increase it a bit then the shadows you can increase the shadows a bit yes and let me increase the texture again to let's say 80 like so and we are good to go so guys this is what you are supposed to do now let me close it let me choose hit ok so that you can compare and see the differences in the two images all right so guys look at this and look at the look at the one on the left and look at the one on the right you can judge them to see which one is sharp and which one is not sharp so of course you can tell that the one we just edited is sharp the one that we didn't do anything to it is not that sharp yes all right now there i want to give you another tip to give another tip here that I've been doing most people have been asking how I do that so let me quickly choose this size okay let me send one of the images here okay so I have this image right here now there is this effect um, camera roll presets that the intense dramatic portraits here yeah. I have actually uploaded this presets in one of my videos kindly check it out yeah so what you are going to do is if only you apply this intense dramatic portrait effect what you are supposed to do is that you have to duplicate the image so control J yes and then you choose the first one yes on the property there choose the first one now you take the image into camera raw again like so now you the preset is already here so you can just load it like so so i have them here plenty so it is in one of my images yes free camera preset you see it's one of my tutorials here so i can choose any of them but this one here is the intense dramatic portrait effect so when i click on it choose open and it will load now the only thing you can do right here is maybe you want the noise so you reduce the noise reduction then the color you reduce it and then you hit OK. And you're going to get it is going to load like so. Yeah, so if you don't want it that much, what you're supposed to do is you can select that image and reduce the opacity like so. Yeah, make sure you don't turn the other image, other duplicated image off. So you increase reduce opacity to any preference so i'll leave it at 70 yes and we are good to go so if i turn this one off you're going to get it my if i have the effect all right guys kindly subscribe to the channel again we have another tutorial coming make sure you subscribe make sure you share the video leave a like leave a comment or we'll make sure we respond to you if you have any challenge make sure you leave that in the comment section so that we can also work on that on that for you. Bye.